Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to create primitive objects with keyboard entry in 3ds Max. A primitive is a basic object like a bot, a sphere, or cylinder. And this is the basic shape we use to start creating more complex objects. We can create them from the main menu or from the create panel. To create them from the main menu, go to the create and then select the standard primitive. From here, we can select one of the options like bot or sphere. We can also use the create panel. The create panel is divided into categories like geometry, shapes, lights, or cameras. The default selected category is geometry, and this is also divided into subcategories. We can see them by clicking this pull down list. We're going to click the bot button to activate the bot settings. We can create this object by clicking and dragging the mouse on any of our views, or in the case of this example, we can use the keyboard entry settings. To do this, click the keyboard entry rollout to open the additional setting. We're able to specify the position in the X, Y, and Z coordinates, and the length, width, and height of the new bot. We can find a rollout name creation method. In this, we can change between bot or cube. If we select cube, we can see that the width and height are disabled and we can control the size with just the length. We're going to change the value to 500 centimeters. If you have the default 3D Smart system unit, you can see this tutorial to learn how to change it to different units like meters, inches, or feet. If we scroll down, we can find an additional rollout label parameters. In this, we can specify additional properties like the number of segments. For this example, we're going to change the length, width, and height segments to 10. We can quickly move between the fields by pressing Tab on our keyboard. Once we're happy with the settings, we can click the Create button. We can see that our 500 centimeter bot with 10 segments on each of the sides, has been created at the center of the scene. With the bot selected, we can use the length, width, and height parameters to change the bot's dimension. For example, we can change the bot's height to 1,000 centimeters and reduce the segments to five. We can also use the spinner on the right of the entry field to change the parameters. If you click and hold the mouse down, you can adjust value. It is also possible to click and drag the mouse up or down to change the value. To reset it to the default value of zero, we can right-click the spinner. If we deselect the objects by right-clicking anywhere in our viewport, we're going to exit the creation tools. If we want to change the parameters, again, we need to select the object and then go to the Modify panel. We can see the active parameters. In this panel, we can modify the parameters for example, we can change the height back to 500 centimeters. But if no object is selected, we can see that the modified panel is empty. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.